Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, engine start performed on the XP82 restoration project. First Airbus A320 Neo in the US delivered to Spirit Airlines. Red Bull Air Race finale hampered by winds. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's October 18th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. The start of an aircraft engine is often a milestone, but in this case, it's an amazing achievement. The North American P-82, later to become the F-82 twin Mustang fighter, went into production just as World War II was ending. This unusual airplane gives the appearance of being two P-51 Mustangs connected together, but it was actually a completely new design. While its entrance into the service was too late to help out in World War II, it saw successful service during the Korean War. Many warbirds are unusual and rare, but the project that was started in 2007 by Tom Riley proved to be extraordinarily rare because the airplane involved in this project is the prototype XP-82. To call the project a restoration is a gross understatement as it has practically developed into a recreation of what was the original airplane. It has been an arduous task with many twists and turns leading to the point that it was finally time to start the engines. The first start of one of its Packard-built Merlin engines has now been completed as the aircraft progresses towards regaining its regal status as a flying fighter. Spirit Airlines has taken delivery of the first A320 Neo to be delivered to a U.S. customer. It is the first of 50 A320 Neo family of aircraft the low-cost carrier has ordered. All of Spirit's A320 Neo aircraft will be powered by Pratt & Whitney Pure Power PW1100JM engines. Ted Christie, Spirit Airlines' chief financial officer, said in part, the state-of-the-art technology will burn less fuel and lower our operational costs. The Airbus A320 Neo delivered today is the 89th aircraft to join Spirit's growing fleet. According to the airline, all Airbus fleet helps maintain an efficient streamlined operation, offering substantial benefits and consistency to the airline's in-flight technical operations and maintenance teams. Airbus reports that 26 A320 Neo aircraft have been delivered to nine operators. After the break, Red Bull Air Race named Season Champions. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing and crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Errol TV, our website, or podcast, just email to news-spy at errol-news.net. Bad weather can make any air event a bit of a gamble, and the final Red Bull Air race of the season being held in Las Vegas did not do well with the weather odds. Because of high winds, practice sessions were canceled and all racers could not participate in the final race. However, Red Bull Air Race announced that Matthias Dolja was awarded Germany's first Red Bull Air Race World Championship at the 2016 season finale on October 16th. Australia's Matt Hall claimed second place overall, with Hans Arch of Austria honored posthumously in third place. It should be noted that Hans Arch, the former championship winner, perished in a private helicopter accident in early September. For a brief time, racers were able to compete, but weather prevented all qualified candidates from flying. With the round of 14 incomplete, the day's results were invalid. 
Dolja and Hall, however, had both clinched their season-leading positions before the finale with the points they earned at the seventh stop of 2016 in Indianapolis. That wraps up the Red Bull Air Races for this season and we'll keep you posted with next year's race schedule. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the more interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. First on our list this week is the Wings of Freedom Tour of World War II Vintage Aircraft, which will be on display at South Carolina's Greenville Downtown Airport October 21st through 23rd. The tour is under the auspices of the Collins Foundation, which plays a major role in preserving the military aircraft that brought victory in World War II. South Carolina appears to be a popular place this weekend, as you will also find the Anderson Regional Air Show at Anderson Regional Airport, also being referred to as the 2016 Bill and Joe Trent Air Show. It is dedicated to recognizing and thanking those military personnel who served in Vietnam. It's a full-fledged air show that promises to be exciting. Now we'll head to Texas for a couple of events. Our first one is the Wings Over Houston Air Show being held on October 22nd and 23rd at Ellington Airport in Houston, Texas. Claimed to be one of the top air shows in the United States, this premier Houston event is dedicated to showcasing vintage World War II aircraft along with the thrills of modern aviation and has supported a variety of local and national charities during its 30-year history. And in San Marcos, Texas, at Redbird Skyport, we find one of the best forums ever assembled dealing with aviation training when we follow the Redbird Migration. Over the last six years, Migration has become the leading conference for flight training professionals, and this year promises to be even better. This gathering provides practical solutions to the real-world problems facing flight schools and universities. After these messages, the Flight Safety Academy in Vero Beach celebrates 50 years. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Flight Safety Academy in Vero Beach, Florida, just celebrated the 50th anniversary of its founding on Monday, October 17th. The Academy's fleet of close to 90 aircraft are supported by a staff of 160 professionals, which includes 70 flight instructors. The crash of a Piper Seneca in Hartford, Connecticut, appears to have been a suicide, according to federal officials. It's been reported this training flight ended in a tragedy when the student intentionally crashed the airplane. The seriously injured flight instructor survived. The Asgardia satellite to be launched in the fall of 2017 will be considered a full-fledged and independent nation that will have the same status as the planet Earth. It said the project comprises the three parts of philosophical, legal, scientific, and technology endeavors. A request from the government of India has been sent to Moscow for the start of a joint production of civilian aircraft for India. 
It's reported an agreement for a joint venture to produce up to 200 KA-226T utility helicopters is forthcoming later this month. It's reported that Dell Air Tech and Microdrones are partnering to become the UAS suppliers for Trumbull's distribution network. This includes four new mapping packages developed by Microdrones for vertical takeoff and landing unmanned aerial systems. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's get back to the rest of the news. The latest commercial drone on the market, at least in Europe, is the Intel Falcon 8 Plus Octocopter. Riding on the Intel blog, Intel's Josh Walden says that the new aircraft is based around the Aztec Falcon 8 Octocopter built by Ascending Technologies, which is a subsidiary of Intel. The aircraft is powered with Aztec Trinity technology, which is a triple redundant autopilot with three redundant inertial measurement units that compensate for external influences like electromagnetic fields or strong winds. The UAS has automated aerial sensing solutions with best-in-class onboard sensors, providing detailed orthography down to millimeter accuracy ground sample distance. Consistent waypoint automation enables reproducible flights. However, there is one caveat. The Falcon 8 and Falcon 8 Plus devices have not been authorized by the U.S. Federal Communications Commission. This precludes them from operating in the United States of America. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.